Today's video is a solution to my kids leaving their backpacks everywhere. We have some hooks by the front door, but really I like to reserve those for guests. So we're gonna put this a little bit out of the way where when they come home, they can drop their backpack and go. Okay, to get started, we have a French cleat. This is gonna go on very last, but you need to have one because these hold a ton of weight. This will hold up to 100 pounds. You can pick it up at your local hardware store or on Amazon. Next, you're gonna need hooks. I picked up five of these hooks. They were $2.99 each at Ikea. Here's a serial number for you. If you don't live local to an Ikea, they will ship. I love these because they're simple, they're farmhouse, and we're gonna have a lot going on so I don't wanna detract from that. Next, we have an IOD transfer that is gonna go on the window. I picked this one for my house because the floral goes great for my design aesthetic with my farmhouse and muted colors, but there are a lot of fun, different options to choose from on our website at jamierayvintage.com. And last but not least, we are using an old salvage window. Originally, I got this idea from the IOD sisters and they use some plywood, which also works. I love the idea of reusing some old chippy salvage and I happen to have a pile of old windows in my garage that Zeb is threatening to throw out. So this is the perfect use for this window. So there's a paper behind the transfer. Don't take that off till you're ready to use it. It is not attached. It comes off very easily, but it's just there to protect the sticky on the back of the transfer. So we're going to leave the backing on and just lay it down and see if it fits. You wanna make sure your window is very clean and you wanna kinda of hover over where you want your transfer to go because once you drop this down on glass, it's going to probably stick fairly well and you'll be committed. All right, you like that? All right, then you're gently going to push the transfer into place. So I'm just gonna push this up into the corner. It will probably actually start making the transfer release. And I don't mind if the design actually goes up onto the window frame. I kinda like that look. And then I'm gonna come across this way and push this up into here too. And it will actually break away from the transfer when you do that. So what we're gonna do is called riding the wave. You kind of take the side of your piece and then pull up and then push down with your tool that comes with the transfer or any straight edge will work, especially if you have more than one person helping. And it will come off fairly easy, especially on a window. If any part doesn't come off, just go over it again, push it back down, and you're good to go. If any part of your transfer doesn't stick, like right here, it's okay, just put it back down, go over the top, and it will release. When you're doing this, just be careful on something like a window or a mirror. You don't wanna push so hard that you break the glass because it's just floating over here over the top of the counter right now. And it doesn't actually take that much pressure to get it to release. It took us just a couple minutes and we have this beautiful graphic. I'm using a dry washcloth to just go over this and make sure all areas are securely pushed down. So this is totally considered off-label use, meaning the IOD sisters won't guarantee that it's gonna hold up to scrubbing. I, I have done this many times with their transfers and have had no problems with it holding up. To clean this, you're only gonna dry dust and then if on occasion where the glass is you have a smudge, you could spot clean that. Do not put cleaner over the transfer because it's not been sealed and it's not gonna hold up to harsh chemicals. Also, it is not recommended for outdoor use unless you seal it and we are not sealing this. This is 36 inches wide and Jamie got five hooks so she's gonna make me do some math. I'm gonna put one in the center and then two on each side and that should be plenty for the kids to hang everything they've got going on. This was the catch to release the window so you could raise it up and down. I'm gonna center the first hook right on that and then measure from that point that way and this way. So the screws are silver. Jamie is gonna go ahead and paint those black once I'm done screwing them in. We didn't have black ones on hand, so we're just going with what we've got here today. So here's a little painting screws hack. I just like to use a Q-tip and just 
dab on the paint onto the screw. And I probably am so lazy that I'll never bother to seal it, but you could seal it if you wanted to. Time to put the French cleat on. I'm just gonna put this along the back, which was the inside of the window. Right here in the hall, the front door is just right around the corner there. We've got this picture frame that's already here. I'm gonna have to pull these screws down because it's not quite the right spot. And then we'll hang the new one right up in here. Our project is finished. I think it turned out really good. It was simple. It was inspired by the IOD sisters. I'll drop the link to Sally's haul tree makeover that she did using a transfer. You definitely want to check out their channel. The transfer that we use today is the Flora Parenthesis. You can pick that up at jamierayvintage.com. And then if you're wondering about the black paint, that was DIY and little black dress. So if you don't have an old window laying around at home, which we have lots of, and I would never throw Jamie's windows away, ever, you can use a piece of plywood, you could frame it out, or just leave it as is, make sure you paint in it, and then you can seal it or leave it painted, but make sure you don't have dust on your surface. Stay tuned for close-up pictures so you can see what it looks like with the backpacks on it. Be sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to Jamie Ray Vintage for more. DIY. Hit the subscribe button.